different side of your game tonight, different side of your team, and you're oh. pretty proud of how you defended? Um, I think when you come here, you listen, we know we're playing against the team who were you know, obviously the best team in the league. The, the points suggest that, their victories suggest that. I don't think they've been beaten at home this season. So, I said before the game, we just have to go and um, challenge ourselves, really, go and compete and um, enjoy the enjoy the night, really. And we try to do that. It's yeah, we try to play on the front foot, you know. And yet they do build from the back and they they do go across and wait for you to get a press wrong, somebody jumps and they'll play past it and then they'll write, they'll write you pretty quickly. But I think we generally got it right tonight and um, a little bit more aggression, a little bit more intense from the top. We might have nicked one or two more and, and you know, had chances that you, know, you play against teams like this and you need to be able to nick it one pass goal. And um, we didn't do that quite enough today. But again, it's a great experience for the young players and they'll only learn from it. And um, there was plenty of positives. You know, we come come away from home against the team at the top of the table, and disappointed really that we didn't take one of our chances. You know, we hit the crossbar, we had a goal marginally offside. It's um, yeah. and they, they had chances, but nothing really that you feel oh, we should have scored there. It's um, I thought we defended well, out of possession was good, and just uh, the final pass, the last little bit. I think that we've talked all season without Ross Stewart. We we just lack in a little bit at the top end of the pitch that can punish teams. And um, but we'll hopefully resolve that in the transfer window at the end of the season. And hopefully Ross gets himself fit. And uh, hopefully we can fill the team full of people who can score goals. And so we don't have frustrating nights. You contrast to the second half at the stadium tonight when Benson came off the bench and was brilliant. Yeah. It's in the context how Lyndon did, especially. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. You know, saying he's a warrior, isn't he? It's, uh, I, I think, I think Lyndon Gooch and, and Luke O'Nine are, are the are the grit and the determination in this team. Really, that every team that's got a going to have any level of success has to have players who want to put their foot in, want to win headers, want to block shots, and um, they epitomise all all those qualities. You know, I've talked about. Soldiers and artists. Well, them two I've just mentioned are very much the soldiers, and we've got a few artists, you know. And um, yeah, I thought the balance was all right tonight. It's great that some of the young lads got some game time in such a big match as well, and um, it, it's it's good for the experience of the team. And, and I genuinely feel if we get recruitment right in the summer, we can be a force in this league and give teams problems. But you mentioned those opportunities. Pierre is his full debut. I think yeah. he got better and better as the, as yeah. the game went on. That'd be invaluable. Yeah. To yeah. Pace like it. Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Really, people need experience. Otherwise, how do you ever get up to speed? And Pierre playing in a game against the top team in the league is um, it'll be an amazing experience for him. He, I've been saying to him from day one, he has to get up to speed. He's played 23s football all his life. He's never played a first team game really, and so here we go playing against men whose life depends on winning football matches and um, rather than 23s where you get told to stand in a position and just play to A or B or C, he's in the middle of the mix of a proper football match with men and um, it's a good experience for him. Sorry, just to ask you, obviously you always want to get allied in your team but was it just with him this year, was it just a case of the travelling and the work that mm. over the last week? I might arrived at the hotel 7 o'clock last night off from Manchester when his flight got in so hasn't trained with anybody all week, no idea what his physical condition is. Um, but yeah, we would obviously want to start with Ahmed, and, um, but you couldn't start with Ahmed. We, it was just the wrong thing to do. We, at least the players who, there was only Trey who was away on the internationals uh, who played because he didn't play any minutes for Northern Ireland. He came back and was pretty fresh. Obviously, Dan Ballard's a big miss to this team who, who's um, going to be out for a few weeks maybe. And, um, and Jewess and Bennett's obviously dislocated his shoulder. Um, so. The other two lads who played two games in, in southern Spain in in, in the in Marbella area, they played a lot of football, like two and a bit games, both of them this week, and so they sat on the bench even though they came back yesterday. Um, yeah, the team picked itself really because them none of them lads could play. They, they, they'd been away from the away from the club all week. Tony, we've spent a lot of the season talking about the absence of Ross and how you, you've tried to do that. What does it say that we haven't said the same about defence and yet Ballard's out, Alacy's out, uh, Gooch has missed big chunks yeah. of the season. Sirkin. Sirkin, yeah. yeah. So, you know, what does it say about the lads who have come in there that we haven't been having the same conversation about the defence? Yeah, listen, I, I think... Um, 
I think they're really focused group, to be honest. I, I just said that to my assistant. I think, you know, the, the top end, the final bit, the real bit of quality, of course, we, you know, we can win football matches like that, but I think they are brilliant listeners, taking on information. They're a brilliant group of players to work with who listen, nod their heads, they can see what you're trying to say, they want to make it happen. They're just really, really talented young footballers who want to be better footballers and um, they're taking on information really well and so defensively you know Danny Bath you've got to mention Danny Bath he's a man amongst boys there you know it's 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 um, he's done amazingly well for this club and, and being the rock in the middle of that and yet and yet oh nine's not a boy you nine's you know but he's uh, amazing enthusiasm and mobility uh, two brilliant feet um, we talked about the full backs obviously Gucci was fantastic tonight stopping crosses really putting his body on the line and Trey Hume is a He's just a wonderful footballer, really. And you know, I haven't seen the right back for Northern Ireland. I don't know who he is. I think he's on loan from one of the big Premier League clubs, but he must be some player keeping Trey Hume out the team. Happy? <laughs> <laughs>